You just finished with your first video lesson and now it's time to share it with your students. So I'm going to show you two different ways that both work and have uh, different uh, pros and cons associated with them. So the easiest thing and maybe the most comfortable thing for you may be just to go into your Google Classroom, click Create, and let's well, you can create a question like I've been doing, or we could just do a material. We title it. We give the students instructions. And then we click the Add button. And we're going to add it as a file. So if we add it as a file, students will be able to access it in Google Drive. And they will be able to make it available offline. So I'm going to hit File. And I need to upload mine because it's saved to my computer as an MP4. Remember, MP4 is kind of a, a very versatile format that anyone can watch. And I'm going to select that video and hit Open. And now my students have access to this in Google Drive. Now this works the same way if we click Add from Google Drive we can select the video that we've already uploaded right here and hit insert. So those both work the same, students can access them. If I hit add and YouTube or link, those will allow only my students with internet access to be able to watch those videos. So we wanna make sure that when we add that we use Google Drive or YouTube. Another option is we can head into our Google Drive. We can click the new button in the top left and create a new folder. This is where all of my video lessons will live. So it's called video lessons. Before I put anything in it, let's right click that folder and click share. So it's time to stop and think again. By default, only people can view the links if they're logged into their Banks County accounts. That's fine if we're all students on our Chromebooks, but if I want to view it on my phone, then that means I need to sign in on my phone, and it can be a very time-consuming process and frustrating for your students. It also makes it impossible for parents to view these videos, especially if they're trying to help support their students. So here's what I like to do. Just click anywhere in this white space and the window changes. Let's change it from restricted to anyone with the link. So yes, that means somebody at East Jackson, somebody at Jackson County, somebody in Jefferson Commerce, or even somewhere on the other side of the world could view your video, but only if they have this link. So before we close it, we copy that link and hit done. That link we can post in Google Classroom, we can email it to our students, but we know anybody with that link can view everything inside of this folder. So now let's add one more folder because we're going to stay organized. So here's my video lesson number one folder. You notice he already has a little white silhouette on there because he inherits the shared properties of the folder that he is inside. So since we've made it video lessons are available to anyone with the link, also anyone with the link will have full access to video lessons one. So now I'm going to double click to open him up, select new, and let's upload one of those videos from my computer. Real quick, it uploaded because I'm here on the school network. Um, if you're at home, it may take a little bit longer. So now anyone with this link can view the video. So remember I copied that link to my clipboard. I'm going to open an incognito window, which means no one is signed into it. There's nothing associated with it. If I go to my mail, then it's going to ask me to sign in. So it doesn't know who I am. So let's paste in that link and you'll notice when you is asking me to sign in up top because you do not have to have a gmail account so that means mom and dad with a yahoo or an aol account 
can still access this. They can double click it. They can download it to their computer for later if they're driving up to the local library to get internet access. Or they can double click it and stream it right where they are. So this is my favorite way to share videos is through Google Drive with a link to anyone can access the video.